So what we wanted to do was to make something that could move, but could be controlled by light. So light is great because we can control it really easily, where we shine it, when we shine it, and how intense we shine it. So we wanted basically to mimic something like we see in nature, where uh, plants, for example, can react to light and move. So that was our goal. We used a protein that reacts to temperature. So at high temperature, it sort of shrinks. So what we did is we combined it with a nanomaterial called uh, reduced graphene oxide. So that graphene oxide can actually generate heat. So we, when we combine those nanoparticles that generate heat in response to light and combine them with that protein that responds to heat, we can, uh, together they make a system where light generates heat and shrinks the uh, protein. In the body, as for example a drug delivery reservoir, we can imagine uh, placing this uh, loaded with drug under the skin and then the light, uh, the infrared light we use actually penetrates uh, through the body pretty well. So we can imagine shooting light where we place that drug reservoir and then uh, because the gel shrinks it could release some drug.